the Joe Rogan experience. I've read something about that recently, that entertainment has become the primary revenue source in Vegas, whereas it used to be gambling. Right. But it's, you know, there's, there's still gambling, but boy, it's hard to just convince young people to start gambling. Yeah. It's easy to convince them to start dancing. Yep. You know? Yeah. It's like, it seems normal. It's natural. Yeah. There's the well, beat. Start also, dancing. when you're young, yeah. you don't have the money to just risk, but you have the money right. to go and like experience fun. Yes. Yeah. You know, like when you're older, you're like, okay, I can, I have some of like flexible income streams I can put down on some blackjack or whatnot. I would have loved to seen the Sinatra days. Like Vegas when it was run by the mob. I'd love to see what that was like. You know, the, the Rat Pack and Sammy yeah. Davis Jr. I just would love to have been in the room and watch, watch one of those shows. And then, you know, come to today and see how things have changed. I mean, I think that's like the Bourdain thing. Like he had been there when he was young and then see it change now. Right. But I am fascinated by change. I don't resist it. And uh, I don't, I don't say, oh, the good old days. That don't mean shit to me. I am absolutely on the same page as you. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm interested. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm always interested in the next thing. I want to try the next thing. Yeah. And you know, you want to enhance your experience. You want to enhance what you're doing to make it serve you better. But if you went to someone in like 1985 and said, hey man, guess what? 2019 electronic music is going to be the <laughs> shit. It's going to be everywhere. People would go, what are you talking about? Get this guy out of here, man. There's, a, one, there's one, the one guy that did say that though. Who? Jim Morrison. Did he really? Yeah. So like he did a prediction. It's like somewhere, I'm sure you can find it, but he did a prediction where whenever he was alive, I guess, I, I guess uh, probably died 60s. in 70, 60 or 70. So he said like the future will be one, one person with some sort of computer or something uh, was, uh, that's going to be devised electronically or something like that. And that one person will be making music for people and, and performing that really? now oh, we'll watch right. a video. I, so I remember yeah. this. I remember this now. Yeah. So yeah, I, 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 I forgot what he said, but he said something to that effect. And it's like, it's crazy. Cause that was what 50 years Here, ago. Play this. Seven, Go, take it from the beginning. The music indigenous to this country are uh, the uh, black music blues and the kind of folk music that was brought over from Europe and you know, with, I guess they call it country music or the kind of West Virginia high and lonesome sound. That those, those are the two main streams of root American music. There might be others, I don't know. But uh, like 10 years ago, what they called rock and roll was kind of a blending of those two forms. I guess in four or five years, uh, the new... Uh, generations music will be um <clears throat> it'll have uh a synthesis of those two elements and some third thing it'll be entire maybe it'll be uh it might rely uh heavily on uh, uh electronics uh, tapes i can kind of envision maybe uh, one person with a uh a lot of machines tapes and electronic setups uh uh, singing or speaking and, and using machines. Yeah, See, from what his mind says of what he can considers what that would be, it's you know he did you know he did predict. Yeah, I mean where it. It, it is you know like I think that's what happens when you do acid correctly. <laughs> <laughs> you get those sort of visions. Yeah, because I mean also Jim Morrison like you, you could tell he's he's such an artist that. You know, he could, after the doors, you'd just be himself. Yeah. You know, he would have done a Jim Morrison album where he's made all the music, he's done everything. He would be exactly what he's saying. He's basically predicting what he would have, in my opinion, what he would become. And he was probably like 25 in that video, which is even crazier. Yeah. I mean, he died at 27. That's, that's crazy. Nuts. Yeah. Nuts. I mean, that whole era of the 1960s fascinates me to no end. I love the cars, I love the sound. To this day, most of the music I listen to is classic rock. I mean, I listen to a lot of new stuff, but man, I will pull out some fucking classic rock. I love it, I love yeah. listening to it. Yeah. There's something about it that makes me, it just makes me realize what a profound change it was between the 1950s and the 1960s that the culture exploded that something happened something happened and 
the, the the clothes and the music and the sounds and the fucking muscle cars like everything went haywire like you went from 1950 to 1960 and just a radical yeah, shift right right it was, so many great artists you know hendrix and like Janis yeah Joplin. the whole idea of like like okay now it's time to experiment and yes, to free ourselves yes from yes. the confines of what like you know it's Rigid. supposed to yes yeah right I, the door's I, wide open i think buddy holly was great i love buddy holly but if you go from buddy holly to hendrix you're like what happened <laughs> what happened you know that's I what mean, acid trip actually goes yes. right like you're saying well, he case. apparently they, they said he used to put acid in his bandana i don't know if that's true yeah but that it would seep into his skin as he was playing and then he's just like yeah. lighting his guitar on fire and oh. picking with his teeth man how much would you have loved to watch that guy live? Oh, yeah. Oh, that would have been incredible to be in the presence of something completely unique. You know? Yeah. This hippie black dude who's the greatest <laughs> guitarist of all time. Still. Still. Yeah. Like, there's no one. Like, there's some amazing guys today. Gary Clark Jr. And, of course, you know... Stevie Ray Vaughan was amazing. There's a bunch of great, amazing guitarists. It's not, but also not the showmanship, them. though. Yeah. You know, the outfits. The, yep. like, it's like all of it combined, not just his, his technical ability. Yes. The fact that he was doing these, these things that you're like, you know, some of these guitarists won't, wouldn't do that. That's not part of their, like, you know, protocol. But he was just, like, on another world. Yeah. And to, yeah. to be a part of that, you know, to see that, it's incredible. A complete outlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And again, like no one was like that before that. And like go to the 1940s. It's only 20 years. <laughs> yeah. 1940s are only I mean 20 years ago is, you know, we're dealing with, you know, 1999. That's that doesn't seem that long ago. Yeah. But 69 to 49, you might as well be from another world. Yeah. You really might as well be. Might might as well be another planet. So what do you think was one of the bigger cultural shifts of, of why that happened drugs simply 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. yeah i mean obviously when we talk about Jimi hendrix yes. and the beatles and drugs. the beach boy like whoever Morrison, else was like yeah, drugs yeah, yeah the doors Janis joplin drugs yeah drugs the doors drugs right everyone drugs they were they were taking mind expanding psychedelics and the culture had shifted to embrace these mind expanding psychedelics and there was also the resistance to the vietnam war there's this rebellious movement there's these young compassionate people that were trying to figure their way through life in a way that didn't resonate with the way their parents had set boundaries and standards and they wanted out of all of it that gold water republican shit they, yeah. they wanted to be free and right. flower children and hippies and then yeah. woodstock and all that craziness you know yeah and what's amazing is how quickly it ended you know I yeah. mean, so many things came That's along right. so many things came the along. the deaths yeah. The death scared people, you oh, know, like, sure. you know, at the end of the day, like when, when they're dropping at 27, yeah, your heroes, Morrison, Janis Joplin, Hendrix, all 27. And, and like, they're the leaders of this experimental revolution. Yep. Not good. That's going to end things pretty quick. <laughs>